wicked sense of humour. Very mischievous, a lot of fun. She liked being out amongst people. Yeah, just talk to anybody. 23-year-old Shandy Blackburn was the baby of the family. By all accounts, heaps of fun. The life and soul of the party. I remember when she came into this world and being so excited that I had a little sister. There was a huge age gap between us. It was just like, I can't wait for her to grow up and, you know, so I can have a sister to just hang out with and, you know, do sister stuff with, and we had that. Shandy loved to travel, often with older sister Shannon, who she'd become especially close to. Shandy returned to her hometown of Mackay last October. She took a waitressing job at the local country club, where she met her boyfriend, Aaron Macklin. I was stunned as soon as she walked through those doors. She just brushed past me and we both got the same feeling. And yeah, it was just magical. Shandy yeah. was happy. She had Aaron and just literally found contentment within herself, I think, just grounded. I think we both came to the point in our lives where start planning holidays, start moving in together. We even planned a trip um, to do Route 66 at the end of the year. So we were going to go over to America. We planned it all and everything was just going right and then that happened. On Friday, February 8th, Shandy is on bistro duty here at the club. She finishes her shift at midnight and sets off to walk home. Her final journey is recorded by CCTV cameras inside the club. The final image of Shandy alive is captured by that camera up on the wall. With her bag over her shoulder, Shandy sets off on the 15-minute stroll home. I had the night off. I was having a couple of beers and she said that she'd get her own way home. Nine times out of ten, I'd pick her up. And so Shandy begins what should be a routine journey. It's a great night for a walk, one of those balmy, tropical Queensland nights. It's only about one kilometre from the club to Shandy's home. You'd think she would be safe. I woke up about 12.30 and I listened and I thought, oh, I can't hear the front door, can't hear Shandy coming up the stairs. I went back to sleep. And then what happened? A few hours later, the police banging on the front door. And again, I thought it was Shandy, I thought, you know, she's come home with Aaron or she's forgotten the keys or... But it wasn't. For operational reasons, police are withholding a number of facts about the crime. What we can say is just 50 metres from home, Shandy is murdered in a vicious stabbing attack. Yep. What's the hardest part? Knowing what she went through alone without, without us there to help her. She was so close to home. Yeah. No one's been caught. How does that make you feel? Mostly angry. Angry because we don't know why. To do that to someone so defenceless. You just don't, you don't hear about it here. That's, that's, that's the thing, you don't hear of things like that happening here. You, you think that happens over in America or something like that. This is the exact spot where Shandy was attacked. Every Friday night, her family come here and light candles in her name. I can't imagine going at that front door and looking at that spot every day. I can't imagine. It is hard. Part of me just wants to pack up and just go somewhere else. But I would feel like I'm leaving Shandy and deserting Shandy, and I think I need to be here until we find out who did this. I don't understand how they could live with themselves, knowing what they've done to attack a, a, a defenceless young woman in the street and leave her to die and just run away and pretend it didn't happen. It's OK. Are you proud of what you did? Shandy is gone, but her sister and mother are making a simple appeal. 
this person couldn't have done this without anyone knowing or thinking something's up. You know, this person's had to have gone home to someone or, yeah. or you know, someone's acted strange or, or anything, you know. It could be the smallest thing that anyone could, could come forward with that, that might just help. Someone out there knows something. Whoever did this would not come forward. So if someone does have that knowledge, they're risking waking up one morning and finding out that this has happened again and they could have done something about it.